Hello everyone, this is Joker and welcome to my channel. This will be part 3 and the final part of the Shadow Spear review. Um, I have not much chaos experience yet, except for obliterating them, pun maybe intended, from the battlefield or when they bring in the big guns and being obliterated. But that's obviously the point. So I will not be going through their rules in much detail. Uh, I will try to keep the, 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 the copyright content as low as possible. So if you want to read the actual data sheets, you will have to buy a copy of the box or the new codex that comes out. So that was a quick introduction. And let's go to a quick review of the rules. Uh, the Master of Possession. HQ, decently priced, decently stats. Uh, I believe it has some bon bonus on the Chaos Ritual. I'm not really sure how that works because I don't play Chaos. But that it has some nice buffs and debuffs. Uh, Chaos Space Marines, your line based units. Uh, from out the box, they are really standard, but then again, that's just a monopose and they will be uh, multipose soon enough. Not much new there, to my knowledge. Uh, the Greater Possessed is obvious an elite choice. I am actually surprised by them. They are very interesting, giving some bonuses to. Uh, other possessed units, uh, legion demon units to be more precise, I believe, uh, like possessed and warp talents. So that's really an interesting unit. Uh, no idea on all their options. Uh, I hope they can get wings or something. Makes it really good for a thema thematic uh, army. Uh, obliterators, you can take them one to three you, uh, now. Uh, really decent. Some say really good. I have no idea because I have nothing to compare them against. The Venom Crawler, a demon engine. Looks nasty enough for its uh, rules. It has a buff on the demonic possession as well. So if you go that route, the Master Procession and the Venom Crawler in unison really help out in that regard. Right, that was for the Chaos bit. Then we have the Captain in Phobos armor of the Vanguard. They are basically your uh, Primaris, all of them, except they have the Phobos armor that really helps with uh, certain stratagems that are also in the book. Um, I will not go through over those uh, that much. Uh, just a quick of the unit's summary. Uh, the captain has a decent weapon, long range, uh, can target characters, that's always nice, but more importantly, a 12 inch anti deep trike bubble. That is really, really good. And he himself can basically deep strike. So, for alternative captain, I think he is actually better than the alternatives in the session codex. Yeah. Uh, I can see a real uh, easy um, how to include. Well, how to include, I wouldn't say it, but a an, an really good patrol attachment with the captain and the troop shows later on. Then we have the Librarian. His psychic powers are really, really good in conjunction with what it can do. Uh, he can deep strike and that is really nice. Um, let's see a little bit. He's more... Uh, Uh, 
and he can only get the psychic power from this book so he cannot get null zone not that it would matter anyway uh the lieutenant uh it's basically a reefer lieutenant with a reefer gun but then slightly better can de strike as well and that's really nice as well because you can put him down where you need him all right all right and then for the troop choice the infantry squad like i said with the captain put them together one troop choice one captain and you got a really decent uh, detachment already that you can use for objective grabbing in basically any soup army that is allowed to be a soup army on tournaments or local meta uh, they have a decent range to weaponry um, basically normal range but they can make automatic hits and the automatic hits is really really good that basically means they can on hitting to six and they are automatically want the most toughest opponent there is it makes them really versatile not overly powered especially for the price and they basically have a, a low down apothecary with them which makes them a bit more survivable all right, and then the suppressor squad. Uh, not everybody likes the models because they are too little of the interceptors and too little of regular jump marines, etc. Uh, the most, the thing that I find the most curious about them is that they actually have heavy weapons and they are jump, but that has its advantages. Because that means they will have the fly keyword. That means if you lock them in combat, you can jump out and still shoot with your auto cannons. Uh, they can only ignore Overwatch. So, decently, decently, depending on your army. The Eliminator Squad. I think they are basically an auto include in any army. Three, preferably more. I really hope that their squad size goes up to 10 personally. But oh man, oh man, oh man. They are amazing. Too good to be true, basically. Uh, they can go the three shots to try and hit. Um, larger units or basically hitting on twos for almost anything uh, and still wound them or when someone's hiding beside behind a building the, uh, yeah they are right now except for characters the best sniper units in the game without a doubt uh, yeah, like I said, a heavy sport choice, you will need to uh, find a way to put it in. But I would say, take a captain, the one with 12 inch ignorable, three eliminators, and you got yourself a detachment worthy of any force. Yeah, so that was a quick overview of the rules. Then there are the chapter tactics all in there, the warlord traits. Uh, I will go over them quickly a little bit. Uh, one that helps with movement and advancing, uh, one that help, helps with deployment, uh, that increases movement, uh, one especially for warlord to make him harder to hit. Um, and at one to the hit rules for attack made by the friendly unit, the target enemy unit. So the, most of them are buffs or weapon buffs. Uh, same basically goes with uh, the obscuration 
discipline they help you uh, move around or harass your enemy or even make you get some uh, command points back so one librarian one captain three of these troop charges and you got your basic army ready uh, okay my mistake about the 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 Wow, I cannot find the word right now where you can spend your command points on. I thought there were a few in here, but I'm mistaken on that one. Sorry about that. Um, Reavers also have the Phobos pattern armor. Uh, that's very important because there are a few psychic powers that specifically target Phobos armor. In that regard, they also tar are targetable for the Reavers. Basically, the Reavers are also Vanguard Space Marines. Uh, sorry about the longer pauses in my and more uh, in this uh, video because I didn't want to show too much of the content with to get in trouble with GW. Uh, but I did do want to go over a review. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Any critics uh, that can help me, also leave the comments down below. And, uh, well, I think this is it for now. I have no idea what my next video will be. Uh, I'm thinking of doing what's on the table like of segments. Since I'm painting slowly a bit more and more, so that I will go unit and army wise, depending on what fills my fancy, uh, to give a review on certain armies and units that I play or have played in the past. And now we're standing in, in the display uh, case. All right, uh, that was it for today. I wish you all a good day. And, uh, well, see you all next time. Bye-bye.